it's amazing, but it's amazing because, you know, I've seen her play the first time such a long time ago and it's how she developed and, you know, the people around her, of course, because when she's in a, an environment like uh, now, like in, in Spanish football, in the national team normally and, and in Barcelona, you know, get to play with all these players and like they do every day. I know how it is. When I was in Lyon, it was like you, 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 you don't even have to force it. You're just going to um, move, move forward because they're pushing you, you know. So um, an amazing career um, until now and an amazing player, like one of the best for sure in, in all times because she's been playing so well these last couple, couple of years. But impressive and, and, um, and, um, um, and the improvement is, is uh, wow. I didn't really know that much about her before, but they were playing uh, the Champions League when they won in, during the pandemic, sadly. But I was there as an ambassador because it was in my hometown, Gothenburg. Um, so I was sitting there watching this, uh, this game. No one, no one around you, just like a few, few, few uh, people. Um, and she was outstanding. And I was just sitting there and like, why did, didn't I know about this girl? And I know she's, you know, younger, of course, but uh, so amazing. And when she went to Barcelona, I, I felt the same. I was just like, oh no, she was perfect in, in, the, in like in the German uh, way of playing. But like you say, she, she, I think she adapts really well. And she's been developing, you know, all these technical uh, skills and to to know where when to to pass the ball and to to go forward and and also like in defense because she's more in defense now even if it's a lot of offense <laughs> game um, but um yeah it's, it's I, I just think it, that says a lot of a, of a player like her like with her physical abilities and everything and to to be able to adapt to different styles and that makes her of course, like um, a better player, like more skillful in, in all um, areas. Um, so no, she, she's, um, she's a proud for, for, uh, pride for, um, for Sweden, uh, of course, because you know, she's in one of the best teams also and, and she's playing, that's, that's not easy. First of all, like it wasn't the fault of Barcelona, but like the betting sites and everyone were like, um, putting high rates on Lyon, like if they win, you're gonna get, get a lot of money back. And they were just like, what? Are you kidding? You know, because they, they've been winning for seven, eight uh, years, like eight times. So they knew how to do it. And also suddenly they heard like they weren't even the favorites, Barcelona was, and they knew that they had a good team. So they were just like, okay, we're gonna show you. And they could, they could for once just um, go like off the radar a little bit. Every eyes, you know, spotlight was on Barcelona. But I'm sorry, I don't, I can, I cannot be quiet in this matter because for me, it's like, for me, that's showing no respect at all for the players. No respect at all. I can't, you know, when I put the same situation in Sweden, I would be like, the Federation would never ever shown the, emails they would like be so scared of people knowing this they would try to deal with it with these 15 players at once not not a problem and here you have a situation where you have the 15 best okay of of spain of europe maybe the world and what's that showing no respect for women football in the europe in in the world to to not play these these women and to not listen to them